Hey guys, it is your girl Miranda and I'm back with another video and I have another message for you guys and Heavenly Father wants to know, are you and have you most importantly learned from your past? I repeat, Heavenly Father wants to know if you have learned from your past and so this is this is a kingdom spouse message and it does relate to just learning from your past hurt and pain and just the things that you went through in your past relationships and so it's very important to you know make sure that you learn from those past mistakes and that you understand and you know you know hey this is what I did like about this person. This is what I didn't like. These are my green flags. These are my red flags. And so don't be surprised if God is putting you in position to be tested to see if you're still going to allow the same things that you may have allowed in the past. And so a lot of times you may have been gaslighted in the past and you didn't really know it was like unknowingly or you know, you may have not had boundaries and, you know, God is testing you and putting you in position to make sure that before your kingdom spouse comes, your husband or your wife, to make sure that you're still, sorry guys, um, Orion is just like begging for my attention right now, um, my puppy, my daughter's puppy, not mine, um, he wants to be on the camera, so here's Orion, um, hopefully I can get through the rest of this message without him continuing to bark but I'm just going to show him a little love while I'm talking to you guys but you know it's important to make sure that ultimately that you know you did learn from your past mistakes your trials your tribulations and also what were the green flags and what were the red flags in your past relationship God doesn't want you to go into relationship and not have those boundaries and not you know have these things in place to where you know you just allow any and everything and so god wants to make sure that you know you learned from your past mistakes and so don't be surprised if you're tested and you're put in a position to you know see are you going to stand still are you going to you know, have your morals and your values? Are you going to, you know, believe in and trust in God, but most importantly, trust in your intuition, stand firm on your beliefs, because again, time will test your truth, faith, and beliefs. So, you know, you may have learned something and overcame something, but Heavenly Father may want to see, are you still going to continue to, you know, have those same beliefs are you still going to have those same morals are you going to still have those same values and so this is a time where we are being tested to make sure that we are still you know standing firm and so this also has to do with being grounded heavenly father he he had me do another message um a couple of days ago about being firm and being still and being grounded and being planted and so that's important that we're being still planted and grounded not just in the lord but also with the things that he taught us and that we learn we have to trust and believe what god has shown us and what god has told us and so a part of that and being still and being grounded also means in the things that he's taught us within our morals and our values and what we deserve and so we need to make sure that we're having non-negotiables when it does come time for you to enter into your marriage season you don't want to get caught off guard with the counterfeit you know who comes as an angel in light like the enemy pretending to be your prince charming or pretending to be your kingdom spouse and then you know you avoid and you ignore all those red flags and so it's important that we're not only just checking off the green flags, but we're also paying attention and being cautious of the red flags also. And so don't be surprised if you are tested in the type of ways that you, you know, things that you went through in the past before that you typically may have accepted, but, you know, God doesn't want you to accept. And so I don't know who this message is for, but... I pray this message blesses you. I love you guys. Be blessed and I'll be back with another video. Bye guys.